Okay, so this is DIY Face Shield version 2. With this design, I have removed the tape and replaced it with screws and bolts with the idea and the goal of making this a multi-use face shield so that you don't have to throw it away so that it can be sanitized and used again. Uh, I also removed the tape from the attachment of the hair tie and replaced it with some holes so that you could just tie the hair tie right on. And I'm hoping if the hair tie itself is a sanitation issue, you could remove the hair tie each use and just add another one. Um, I have, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting to hear back from the manufacturer of the headbands to find out exactly what type of plastic this is to see if it's the right thing to be using for something that we want to be sanitized. And I'm also looking into this material, this Duralar um, polyester film. Is this something that is what we should be using? Now that also comes in rolls. So if I could have a slightly wider piece, which the roll would provide, then that clear um, transparent plastic would go over the other bolt there. And that actually would allow for the face shield to go over your ear a little bit more and that would allow it to you know keep you even more protected so I'm thinking that would be uh make the design more successful as well um the other question that I have is we could add a little bit of foam to the interior of the design just to make it a little bit more comfortable, but I'm wondering what the adhesive that I would use to attach it should be if we wanna be able to sanitize it. So these are all the questions that I have in my head right now for this version two prototype. Uh, if you know the answer to any of these questions, please contact me. If you are looking for a tutorial on how to make this, just stay tuned because I wanna make sure that this is a good solution and I'm putting out true and accurate information before posting a tutorial, but I will do that as soon as I understand that this is the right solution. Okay, so please stay tuned. Connect me with anyone that either needs these or has an authority to understand how they work and what will make them successful in a reusable medical environment or where they could be successful in anywhere else. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm gonna post how I made it, but that's just for design feedback. Please give me feedback and stay healthy. Thanks.